David Loy in, in The World is Made of Stories, he writes, if delusion is awareness stuck in attention traps and enlightenment liberates awareness, does the spiritual path involve finding the correct story or getting rid of stories or learning to story in a new way? And to me, this stage or position of emergence is about um, learning to story in new ways, mm -hmm. learning how to let, to be fluid and flexible with our stories, including the story that we should just drop all stories, <laughs> which becomes a, a really contradictory story <laughs> in a way, because <laughs> then we become a, a, an evangelist for no stories, <laughs> spreading the story of no stories to the masses. <laughs> um, Another way of describing emergence is from the inside is to say that emergence is the experience of constant awakening. Um, Hokai Sobel uh, tweeted once, awakening is a surprise, something that comes unbidden. We, don't, we can't predict when it's gonna occur. Constant awakening, he says, is a constant surprise. So, Emergence is the constant surprise of life, which again, this is not new. This is nothing new. Life is always surprising us, you know, but when we really let go of our, our sort of reified attachment to how we think it should look and how it should play out and, and thinking we know what it's, what it's about and, and how it all works, when we let go of that and there's kind of more openness to, to kind of work with knowledge differently more fluidly then we're constantly being surprised life is constantly breaking our models and breaking our expectations and uh in a way it feels like to me is it inviting us into something deeper richer more more heartful uh more connected um and and i'd say that's one of the ways that this um position of emergence is experienced or described is as life being the teacher of the great guru life. Um, and not to say we can't learn from other people or each other, can, but those are part of life. Um, uh, but we can also learn from things that we don't think of as our teacher. Um, and, and really the whole, the whole challenge in, in emergence and in just continuing to live is, is really a, a, a of being open to seeing everything as, as the teacher. Everything is opening us up, waking us up, showing us where we're holding, um, inviting us into, into to some new way of being uh, with the world. And let, let's not assume that the traditions have this way of being already figured out because then we just stop and we rest on our enlightened laurels, you know, and we reify some idea of enlightenment as opposed to becoming the unfolding of enlightenment. Uh, itself. Robert Aiken, Zen teacher, wrote, our task is not to clear up the mystery, but to make the mystery clear. Task isn't to figure this all out, but it's to come into contact with the unfathomableness of the vastness of this life. Um, you know, we can celebrate our uh, our stories and our models and our things that help us. But then we have to constantly like the old raft simile, we have to constantly be letting them go and constantly reinventing ourselves, self transforming um, in response to what's needed. Um, so I think that's, that's how I would talk about um, emergence. Um, another, maybe the last way I talk about it, um, kind of tying it back to, uh, the phase of in, the position of integration. Um, if integration is expressed as form is emptiness, emptiness is form, then we could express emergence in this way. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is evolving. Because what we know about the world of form and, and our current best story about it is that it's evolving. Um, that it's uh, life is a constant process of adaptation um, of, uh, of, of forces and pressures moving through that select for certain forms of life, um, which then uh, propagate 
uh, and mutate and mate with each other. And, and this process of evolution and the way that we can understand it, it's, it's, it's an amazing process that has a kind of deep intelligence to it. Um, you know, not saying necessarily that you have to view it as there being something which is directing that process, a creative, uh, you know, designer, but just that the process itself is intelligence, intelligent. And we're part of that intelligence, even though it seems like we're often a stupid part of that intelligence. <laughs> But, you know, that's part of life, too. Your know, life creates forms that threaten life. Interesting. Uh, we're not separate from that. We're life uh, waking up to itself.